And we're here with Alex and Naya as we get set to get ready for the 2022 uh, season here at Emerald Downs. And Alex last year uh, has been here. This will be his fourth year. Last year was his third. He got things started pretty uh, nicely with that win on opening day, the very first win of the meet. Um, and then kind of struggled a little bit, but by, by the end of June, you were really starting to fire. Yeah, uh, you know, I just kept grinding at it. You know, I, I uh, after that first win, like I said, I, I thought I was going to fire right off the bat. And, and sometimes the business, you know, just doesn't work out like you want it to. And, there's always a moment, though, that yeah. things kind of turn around, and you had a three-win day. Do you remember those those uh, particular rides on that day? You know, I don't even know. <laughs> to be honest, no. Uh, I don't remember what three horses I rode that day, but I remember, you know, that's really when things started kicking off. I, I just also come off an injury, and and I was out for about three weeks, so I lost some business there, too, you know, and that affected some of my business, but... Thankfully, I was ever able to grind through it and come back and, like I said, get those three wins, and then they kicked it off for me. So. so coming into this season, just coming off of that, now during the off season, you did you went down to Grants Pass a little bit and then down to Turf Paradise, but pretty much you've been off since the holidays. Is that about right? Yeah, you know, I, I went down to Grants Pass. I was. Uh, you did have a memorable ride in Grants Pass as well, right? Yeah, lights got turned off on me <laughs> you know and uh i was able to get the title down there in grants pass and i went down to, to phoenix and um i was just tired and you know a little homesick and i wanted to spend the holidays with my family so i came back up here and just decided to rest till, till this meet until this one got uh, going as well and so now you're getting geared up to come into this one um through the first three years is you know and i know uh here at emerald downs you talked about how excited you were to win your first race ever uh and uh uh in only your third mount uh, back there i know you were a little impatient with that but uh, <laughs> but what uh, what horse or what race uh, out of all of them here at emerald sticks out to you you know there's there's a lot i i, I can't pick it certain one but uh, probably one of my favorites was when I won with Unmatchable the, my first stakes race actually yeah. because I did uh, all the work on the horse you know I started him young you know as a two year old and and uh, I did all the gate work everything with the horse all the works everything so it was really really special for me to win on him and it was actually his first race of his career he never run in a cheap race or maiden or nothing he went straight to a stick race and was able to pull and upset you know and it was a really 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 memorable uh race for me yeah i would imagine that would be i would guess that coming into this season uh your goals are set uh you know the the jockey room looks like it's going to be pretty competitive this year yes uh there's a lot of new jockeys uh new faces i haven't seen in the past you know but uh you know I love to work under pressure. I love the competition, and I'm hoping for a good, good meet. And more, and more stakes races, right? That's more the big goal. For sure, yes. You know, I was able to pick some off down in, in Grants Pass this last fall, and and uh, I'm looking to win a few here too. All right, great. Alex and I are getting set for the 2022 season here at Emerald Downs.